In this video I'm going to introduce you with the text field composable in Jitbug Compose and I will show you how you can work with this composable. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see, I have a column. I applied a horizontal alignment and a vertical arrangement to center that column with fill max size modifier. Now I'm going to create a text field. And for that text field, we want to state for the text. Let's create that by remember. And then we can call mutable state of. And we need to import the get and set values, so I'm going to import them manually. We can import them from the Android X dot compose dot runtime dot get value. And we also want to import the set value. And now the error is gone. And now let's create the text field composable. Here we need to pass the text. And when value change, every time we get a new string typed into our text field, we want to change this state. So we can say text equals to it. And here it is a reference to the new string that was typed into our text field. Now, since I'm using Material 3 design, this still needs the experimental annotation. So I'm going to add that. And now let's run the app to see our text field. And as you can see, this is the text field. So we can type and delete and everything. Now let me put this into new lines. Now you can add some icons to your text field like the leading icon and the trailing icon. Let's, let's see that so we can say leading icon. So this is just an icon that shows here at the, at the start of our text field. It's not supposed to be icon so you can actually add anything here but most cases you would like to just pass an icon. And for our use case let's actually create a password text field. So let's add an icon here and I have already added an icon for that and for the content description let's pass null. Now let's launch the app to see the icon. As you can see this is the icon we can now click here and we can type. We also have the trailing icon so this is just an icon or a text or anything that shows at the end of the text field. In our case let's actually add a text button. I showed you that in the previous video so let's do that. And on the click, we're going to use that later. But for now, let's actually uh, say text show. Now let's launch the app. And as you can see, we have this text button as a trailing icon. Now we can also adjust the colors of this text field. So we can say colors. And to do that, we can use the text field default. And here we have many text fields. For our text field we're using is the text field colors. And here we can literally adjust any color we want, but only if you are using Material 3 components, Material Design 3. So for the background color, for example, we can say container color and we can change that, let's say transparent. So we want to delete or remove the color of this text field. We can also, for example, change the cursor color, this one. So this one is now black. We can, for example, make it red. So color dot red and and we also have so many colors you can change if you want to see them you can just click alt and p and here you can see all these colors you can just change them and play around with these colors now let's see what we have changed and as you can see uh let me show you the cursor it's red and yeah everything works now i'm gonna comment the colors here we don't want that so i'm just gonna comment these colors and let's keep on the next thing I want to show you here is uh, the single line. So for our text field, this is just a password. If we click on here, as you can see, it created a new line. We don't want that behavior. We only want to have a single line in our text field. We can just use single line and make this true. Let's launch the app to see that. Now let's say you want to have a hint here that says password. There are two ways to create that. The first one using the placeholder. And here you can just define your placeholder and this acts like a hint. So let's actually add text here and say password and let's launch the app. Now as you can see we have a hint here and whenever we type anything the hint just disappears. There is another way you can do that and that's called a label. So let's pass that here and now I'm going to copy this, paste it in here. And I'm going to comment this placeholder. If we click on this text field, as you can see, there was an animation and the password just got uh, above the text. Now, if we type, as you can see, so that the label stayed there. 
the label stayed there and that's the difference between a label and a placeholder for me i'm just gonna use a placeholder so i'm gonna comment this or i'm gonna delete this and i'm gonna use a placeholder now for a password we of course don't want to show the password we want to show ellipses instead of that password and of course we can do that in a simple way using this text uh, field composable using the visual transformation attribute here we can pass password visual transformation which is just a class and if you try to type as you can see we don't show the password anymore but we show ellipses now let's say you want to adjust on the keyboard for example you want this keyboard to only show numbers we can use the keyboard options we can pass that in here and now you can actually adjust on these values so so for example you have autocorrect you can turn that off you have the keyboard option or the key or the keyboard type here we want this to be only uh, numbers so we can say keyboard type and you have all of these options now we want a uh, number password and we also can change this icon the ime icon we can say ime action and say I am me action and for example we want to be go and to get a click callback on this go icon you also have the keyboard actions so you can say keyboard actions and here we want to get a callback on the on go click and let's just create a simple log test on go click now let's see our application and let's type let's click on this icon and in the look at now we're supposed to see that okay i'm gonna scroll all the way down and here you go on go click now when the user clicks on show you of course want to show the password instead of these ellipses to do that we want to create another state here and call and call this is password visible this is just a boolean state and initially false so initially we just want to show these ellipses and here when we click on the trailing icon on the trailing icon here on show we want to change that state to the opposite so is password visible and we change that to the opposite now instead of this show we first want to check so if is password visible then we want to show hide else than that we want to display show so else we want to say show and to make this work also here when we pass uh, for the visual transformation we also want to check let's do that if is password visible so we just want to show the password so we can pass visual transformation dot none and else we just pass the password visual transformation now let's launch the app to see that let's type okay let's click on show as you can see child type click on hide and this actually works now the last thing i want to show you for this video is how to request a focus on your text field so we can do that with the modifier so let's say modifier modifier dot focus requester and here we need to pass an object from this focus requester class and let's create that up here let's say val focus requester we want to remember that from recompositions and then we can create focus requester object and we can pass that object here and then let's actually have a button and let's say request focus then here every time we click on that button we can actually request the focus using the object we created and we can say request focus now let's launch the app and let's click on request focus and as you can see now we can type and yeah so that's what the request focus is and so that's it for the text field composable you also have another type of the text field which is outlined text field so this just will show a borders around your text field as you can see you can also adjust with the colors and make this look better but yeah, I showed you all the important attributes for text field. And we also have basic text field. Uh, this one actually is a little bit advanced. And I don't want to cover that in here in this video because it needs uh, a special handling. But, uh, but I'll make video about that. 
So that's it for this video actually, thank you so much for watching, I wish you have a great day and catch you in the next video.